We gather here in memory of 20 beautiful children and six remarkable adults. They lost their lives in a school that could have been any school. To a community still in shock over the tragedy at Sandy Elementary School, Sandy Hook Elementary School, on Friday. Good morning. Great to have you with us. It's 4.30. I'm Logan Burns. Getting the kids up and ready for school may never be the same here in Connecticut. And on this Monday morning especially, there are many anxious parents and students preparing to head back to the classroom just days after the massacre there at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Fox Connecticut's Jan Carabeo joins us now with how Connecticut school districts are preparing. Jan? Logan, parents and students should be prepared to see a bigger police presence in and around their schools today. One district in particular is on high alert. Police say around 5 last evening, a student posted an online threat against Bristol Central High School. We're told that student is now in custody and that the school district has reviewed its safety and security procedures. And not only that, additional police and other supervision will be in place at the school later today. And that's pretty much what all school districts across Connecticut have been busy with this weekend. Districts are reviewing their procedures and asking their local police department to check in on them throughout the day. You may not see more police in your schools, but you definitely will see a lot more around your schools in the school area. Districts have even posted their safety plans on their websites to reassure parents and students. In West Hartford, the student superintendent sent a recorded message to families on Friday after the horrible news out of Newtown. She says there will be an increased police presence at town schools and administrators there even created a list of talking points to help parents address this issue with their kids. Grief counselors are also ready at most schools to talk with students about the tragedy if needed. In Windsor, the crisis intervention team is ready. The main goal is to reassure parents that it's safe to send their children to school. The superintendents around the state feel grief. I mean, we had 20 beautiful little children killed, uh, and that, that sense of grief is, is over all of us. Uh, there's angst about security in the schools uh, starting uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, and there's a little bit of anger uh, because we've gone through this too many times and we need to take some steps to take guns out of the hands of people who are disturbed. Now, in the coming weeks, schools will continue to review their policy. They'll also go over safety drills. Everyone knows this will be an especially tough day for Connecticut parents and students. As for Sandy Hook students, they aren't expected to go back to classes in Monroe until at the earliest Wednesday, and that'll be the real task, trying to make sure those parents and students feel safe. Reporting live, Jan Carabeo, Fox, Connecticut.